While General Motors might not be leading the electric vehicle EV race just yet, their ambitious plans for the coming years could change that. What's stirring up excitement? GM has teamed up with the Department of Defense to develop electric vehicle batteries that can do more than just power cars. They might fuel powerful directed energy weapons. Imagine electric batteries not just for driving, but for high-tech lasers and revolutionary military applications. This isn't sci-fi. It's happening with GM Defense. Collaborating with Brainiacs from the University of Texas at Arlington and the Naval Surface Warfare Center, they're pushing the limits of battery tech, aiming to redefine what these power sources can handle in intense military environments. Funded by the U.S. Department of Defense, the evaluation of electric vehicle batteries to enable directed energy, EVB, project is exploring if everyday electric car batteries can withstand the rigorous demands of military operations. This means powering more than just vehicles. Think advanced weaponry and equipment. The potential here is huge. GM's ULAN platform, their latest in battery tech, offers flexibility like never before. It's designed to power anything from silent troop transports to cutting-edge laser weapons. By stress testing these batteries, GM and their partners are paving the way for a more efficient, powerful military force. This project isn't just about innovation. It's about reshaping the future of defense technology. Imagine a military where energy isn't a concern, where operations are quieter, more efficient, and more powerful than ever before. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into how GM Defense is driving the future of military technology. What are your thoughts on this breakthrough? Share in the comments below. The Department of Defense stands to gain a significant advantage from the potential investment of billions of dollars by GM in the development and manufacturing of advanced battery technologies. This sentiment was expressed by Steve Dumont, president of GM Defense, who highlighted the transformative nature of these technologies and their ability to greatly enhance operational capabilities for military applications, both in the field and at installations worldwide. GM Defense is eager to contribute to this important initiative and provide support to global defense and government customers in their transition towards these innovative technologies. The collaboration between GM Defense and the Department of Defense has garnered excitement, particularly in the exploration of the ULAN platform for potential integration into future warfare applications. This sentiment was echoed by David Wetz, a professor of electrical engineering at UTA and director of the PPL, who emphasized their long-standing relationship with the DAWDI and the Office of Naval Research in testing high-power batteries. The partnership positions them uniquely to evaluate the technology and offer recommendations for its future utilization. Furthermore, the commitment of UTA as a Carnegie R1 university to collaborate with industry for the advancement of new technology was underscored by Peter Croach, dean of UTA's College of Engineering. He emphasized that the collaboration between PPL, GM Defense, and the DOD not only enhances the nation's military capabilities but also contributes to workforce development, nurturing the next generation of engineers equipped to tackle complex national challenges. The military has specific needs, and these batteries might need some adjustments to become the perfect fit. The EVB project will be like a tailor shop for these batteries. They'll be examining the ULAN platform to see if any design changes are needed to meet the military's unique energy storage requirements. Remember, a soldier on the battlefield needs reliable power in a flash, unlike the steadier power demands of a civilian car. The good news is that GM's ULAN platform is like a Lego set for batteries. It's modular, meaning it can be customized with different types of battery cells and components. This flexibility allows GM to adjust the UAN platform for military use, potentially using different materials or cell shapes compared to their civilian electric vehicles. This modularity aligns with GM CEO Mary Barra's vision. She's open to using different battery technologies in the future, which can even include switching to a different cell format like cylinders. This flexibility gives GM Defense more options when tailoring the ULAN platform for military applications. But the military isn't the only place where ULAN is flexing its muscles. GM is already exploring its potential for civilian energy storage solutions beyond electric vehicles. They even offer a home backup power system powered by ULAN technology, showing its versatility. This isn't GM Defense's first foray into military electric vehicles either. They previously provided a prototype ULAM-based battery system for another Department of Defense project. 
They even tested integrating a battery pack from a regular GM electric car into a light tactical vehicle, proving the potential for adaptation. Remember the electric hummer truck that caused a stir a while back? GM Defense had similar plans in the works. They envisioned building electric military vehicles based on the civilian Hummer platform. Think of it like taking the tough frame, powerful motors, and battery system from the civilian Hummer, but replacing the flashy bodywork with something more military-grade. This strategy mirrors their previous infantry squad vehicle, which took inspiration from the rugged Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 pickup truck. In short, GM Defense is taking its experience with electric car batteries and adapting them for the demanding world of the military. The EVB project is a crucial step in this process, allowing them to fine-tune the UAM platform to meet the specific needs of the battlefield. With its modular design and GM's commitment to exploring new battery technologies, the UAM platform has the potential to become a game-changer for military electric vehicles, paving the way for a future with silent troop carriers high-tech laser weapons, and a whole range of other military applications powered by next-generation electric power. GM Defense also previously announced its participation in the Defense Innovation Unit's Jumpstart for Advanced Battery Standardization, JBS project. JB is run by the Defense Innovation Unit, DIU, is essentially a testing ground for commercial battery technology. Remember how EVB is looking at power and directed energy weapons. JB takes a broader approach, evaluating high-voltage battery systems from GM's ULAM platform to see if they can handle the demanding and unpredictable situations the military faces. Think of it like this. JB just puts these batteries through a rigorous training program. They're not just tested in sterile lab environments, but also in real-life settings like light tactical utility vehicles. This allows researchers to see how the batteries perform under pressure, delivering power in quick bursts, and undergoing frequent charging cycles, unlike the more predictable use in civilian cars. But JABS isn't just about physical testing. A crucial aspect is standardization. JAB aims to find ways to optimize and standardize these commercial battery systems for military use. This means figuring out how to modify or adapt the batteries to ensure they work seamlessly with different military equipment and vehicles. Imagine creating a universal training program for soldiers, Regardless of their specific role, standardization in JBS paves the way for a similar approach for batteries, making it easier to integrate them into diverse military applications. The knowledge gained from JBS is like the hard-won wisdom from a seasoned drill surgeon. It directly informs EVB and future projects. By understanding how the batteries perform under pressure in JABS, GM Defense can figure out the best ways to integrate them into future military vehicles and equipment. This includes considerations like heat management, charging infrastructure needs, and overall system integration. In short, JABS isn't just a one-off test. It's a crucial stepping stone for EVB and the future of electric vehicles in the military. It highlights GM Defense's commitment to developing reliable and powerful battery solutions for the battlefield. The success of these projects could lead to a future where electric power is a cornerstone of American defense strategy, with silent troop carriers, high-tech laser weapons, and a whole range of other military applications powered by these next-generation batteries. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.